All right, race fans, we are back. It is one day, one day after the turkey day. So I hope everyone had some fun, took some time off, and uh, just relax, man. Just take it easy. Life is uh, too short. You got to kick back and just do nothing. Nothing and just uh, get off the train and look around, right? Right. So let's look at where we're at today. Just trying to keep everybody updated, including myself. Since I'm amazed that this uh, nice has CP money is actually, you know, giving, giving, giving money. Again, it's fun, 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 money, 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 money. Not life changing, life money. It's in Bitcoin. I will never buy another freaking altcoin again uh, or mine another altcoin. I mean, I'm mining Monero on nice hash to get paid in bitcoin i just want bitcoin it's the king it's going to be the uh store of value the gold the digital gold uh that's what you should have man i mean i have litecoin and ethereum what the hell litecoin I, like i always say was up to 400 bucks didn't sell it and that's the problem you see it going up but you just don't know when to sell you gotta mentally or write it down what you're happy with with profits take some profits don't sell it all if you don't want to but sometimes take some profits that's me speaking to myself for having missed the boat and now i'm still holding the bag uh yeah i hope maybe one day it'll go back up but it all it is all fun money it's not a major portion of my investment portfolio a lot of my money is in index 500 s p 500 funds because over time with reinvesting dividends, compounding is king. Time in the market, compounding in an index S and B, you're going to be fine. It's the it's the tortoise and hare race. This is just gambling, digital gambling with Bitcoin. But anyway, just get Bitcoin. Enough of that. Let's go. Blamo. We are at nine fifty nine right now a day with six rig CPU. Th uh, what do we got running? I totally forget. Hold on, click baby. There we go. We got some AMD Ryzen nine thirty nine hundred X. 12 core processor. I'm an idiot with these things. Uh, I'm going to ask for your help in a second. But um, look, after three days, I'm up to 30 bucks, 39 bucks a day. So there's that. And again, that's in Bitcoin. So that's being held in nice hash right now. I'm just going to let it ride. Keep rolling that up till it gets up to some amount or my electric or my electricity bill comes in and it's probably a thousand bucks and then it's stupid. So but they did lower our uh, kilowatt per hour here, uh, but maybe three or four months ago after the fake COVID crap where they uh, feigned a lie that the natural gas prices went up. So they cranked our kilowatt hour price up 70%. And everyone's like, holy crap, man. You know, who's the idiot running this country? It's just trying to destroy people, the good people of this country by just freaking breaking their bank accounts so that's when i gave up gpu mine i said this is stupid it's ridiculous the heat the electricity cost the maintenance and the freaking noise it just wasn't worth again the juice was not worth the squeeze but i repeat myself anyway let's go on so here we got the six rigs they're chugging along these little bastards are hot i thought i'd go into number eight here and see what i could do with it uh there is a thing called ryzen master i i get really con um cautious when i mess with it i do not want to fry my cpu which is they're not cheap right so let's go through it maybe someone out there who's a genius i'm an idiot i'm just kind of lazy on this stuff because i hate you learn if it ain't broke don't fix it if you're happy with what you're getting a couple pennies here and there like my hashes i don't want to tweak or uh kind of foobar anything up where i'm like oh crap now i just fried a 400 hour cpu or i burnt my house down you know you got to watch that so i'm running default settings on my Ryzen 900 39, 3900Xs. So let's go over to number eight. Rocco Taco 8. All right. Rocco Taco 8. Where we are running here. 227 a day, which is freaking amazing. It's like the old GPU days a year and a half ago, right? On Ethermine. Woo! Uh, I'm not going to pause it. Let's go into... I don't want to kill what I'm mining here. Let's go into Ryzen Master. So I already had this little, this little bastard installed. Ryzen Master for your Ryzen pleasure. Click on that little bastard. Click yes. And a little son of a bitch comes up. Boom. It gives you a warning that you can totally F up your system if you don't know what the hell you're doing. So be cautious right now as you look at my little screen. Hope you can see that. It's running default. And I'm running at 3957 megahertz current. The max is 4600 the uh, CP voltage, this is all default, is 1.322, and it's on um, just maximum. And my temperature is a bit hot. I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't, 
I went and played with this. I went over to manual, right? Watch this. Blammo. So we got the uh, max setting and we got the voltage. I tweaked with this. I was playing with it, you know, some settings like some of these and you can apply and test. And I've done it a couple times with a couple settings. It'll actually crash your system, reboot and come up and say, hey, you know, those those settings with that profile was not was not good. So we're not going to save it. It's gone back to default. I'm just tweaking around trying to figure this stuff out. Uh, after I did it, a, you know, probably a third time, I said, I do not want to fry this CPU. The thing's working. Do not mess with it. So again, I put it out there. Get some engagement on this um, on this channel, on this YouTube channel. Give me what you think I should do. This is a Ryzen 3900X uh, 12 processor, 12 core processor, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, if you guys have tweaked it for a better hash rate and maybe get lower temperature than this. I don't like that temperature. Uh, I don't know why this one's hot. Maybe I need to put new thermal paste on it, but whatever. I don't know. Maybe I'll get to it. I, I think I have some thermal paste lying around here somewhere. If I do that, it'll probably be a couple days, but I figure I'd throw that. This idea out there, Ryzen Master geniuses of the world, uh, if you're going to tweak this manually, what are some good settings? Not high performance settings. I mean, default might be for the win, but if there's some better settings to maybe tweak the voltage down a little bit, if I do that, what do I keep? The, what, what should I set the clock speed at based on the uh, voltage? You know, that's where I get a little fuzzy. And I, I, I hear some people, I've seen some videos, but the stuff I tried based on recommendation doesn't work for mine. It just crashes out. Uh, so I said, I better stop while I'm ahead before I fry this puppy. Again, two bucks a day is two bucks a day, right? I never had two bucks a day just given to me. So not too bad. So again, it's all for fun. A uh, good way to learn tech stuff. It gets you involved. It's a little hobby, like tweaking on cars or something like that, or tweaking on boats, or tweaking on your house. Like I've been putting some tool videos up. It's just fun tweaking with this stuff and um, educating yourself on how this crap works. All right, so what else can we do? Let's close this. I do not want to muck with it. If I can find the, the X is invisible. I don't know why. Oh, I'm remote displaying, so sometimes all the graphics do not come through. So this little bastard here is running $200, 200, $200 a day. No. Two dollars and twenty-three cents a day. I can't read two twenty-six a day. If you can read that, it's small type. Sorry, it's a remote display. I use remote desktop for everything to get into my miners. That way, I don't have to run KVM and multiple, uh, you know, a switch and hit all the freaking buttons to get into my rigs. Even when I had the GPU, all the rigs were all remoted in. So remote desktop is pretty neat. I like it. It's uh, useful. And uh, if you want an easy way to access all your remote machines, laptops. Just install remote desktop on them. You set it up and then boom, you can go to it. And let me show you right here. You click on remote. Here's all my rigs. These are my old ones. And I actually labeled them with all the GPUs I had. These are all gone. I still have these 1660s because they're tiny and uh, useless. I have a couple, I think I have two, two or three 6600s. I, I have them cranked really high on eBay to sell them because eBay's an asshole. They uh, take 14%. It's it's if you really want to dump something quick and not just throw it away. But if you do mar Facebook Marketplace, you might get interest, but then you got to go meet people, which is scary in, a, in and of itself. And sometimes the bastards don't show up. They say, uh, oh, I'm interested in the GPU. I would want your GPU and on, come get it. And then the little bastards never show up. So you're like, God, you know, I just wasted an hour waiting for this, this tool. So, you know. Is 14% worth it on eBay? Yeah, I guess it is because you're not dealing with people locally. Yeah. So how much is your time worth dealing with people that won't show up? Yeah. So something to consider. Uh, so that's why I crank the prices. You crank the freaking shipping too just to try to mitigate the 14% fee that eBay kind of pulls out of your wallet. Yeah. Pretty wild stuff, eh? All right. There's all my CPU rigs, my GPU rigs. I'll keep them around. Oh, pro tip, never delete anything. Even though you sold stuff. And I, I did screw up. I had one of these rigs. They both had my SD uh, 128 gigabyte um, Seagate. I don't know. Oh, crap. I forget what they're called. Oh, the drives. The uh, SDD drives. And uh, I, whacked, I whacked two of them. I sold them. And I whacked the third one. And it had Windows 10. Everything all installed on it for um, running minor. I had the Windows 10 all configured. Everything hunky-dory. I whacked it. Never do that. These SDDs are freaking cheap. Just go buy a couple more as backup. If you need to use another one to configure for a gaming PC or something, do not whack what you spent time setting up. You'll regret it. Because I'm I trying to remember how I made it a bootable Windows 10, and I'll crap once I get a boot up. 
how do what did I have installed? What did I tweak on Windows? You had to jump through all the system settings you customize to make your uh, rig optimal. So do not delete stuff. Just freaking back it up, or don't just buy new shit like um like new drives and stuff. It's just not worth trying to reconfigure again. Time is money. If you have to spend four hours trying to relearn what you did a year and a half ago, it's just not worth it. Ten bucks, man. Just go buy another drive. That's talking to me. I'm scorning myself for being stupid. All right. What else is going on? Let's go back, folkies. Um, again, people say it's not worth it mining. It's not worth it. Do not go out and buy new hardware right now. Do not go out and buy GPUs and GPU mine. Do not buy CPUs. It's expensive. Two bucks a day. Look, come on. Nine bucks, a, eight bucks. Oh, seven fifty-two. You're who long? Who knows how long this is going to last? A couple weeks, and it's going to go back to thirty cents a day with six rigs. Don't invest the money in hardware. If you need to buy, let's say you want to buy six rigs here, you're going to cost a couple thousand bucks if not more take that money dollar cost average into an index 500 s p fund if you really are, are hard up and horny about getting um bitcoin go through a exchange and buy it but do not like me i have a couple bucks purchased through fidelity they have my keys so therefore it's not my coins buy the buy the damn coins and get it down to your own wallet exodus hard storage get it so you control it and do not forget the keys your passcodes and out Print them out, put them in a safe, uh, just protect it. You will forget it, you will lose it, but make sure it's in a safe so you can recover it. And if you get run over by a truck, make sure your uh, other significant other wife, whatever, hubby knows how to uh, get that crypto. It may it may shoot up and they may be billionaires. Yeah, you'll be dead, but you know, they'll be rich and they'll be driving Lambos on your money uh, while she's off with the new 21 year old pull boy and your billions. Oh well, that's just the way it goes. Life is not fair yeah um what else do we got going on yeah there's a pro tip i'm just saying buy bitcoin direct and just store it don't buy any altcoins uh what else is going on here we are oh it's dropping now look at that i'm still at six things it's been up and down i wonder if there's a chart so you can see i'm all running let's look at this one rig this was the one off one whoop i can't click this 3950 i know i don't have it configured properly i need to maybe i'll go in and see if i can reset that to default let's do it together dun, 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 12 Let's see if 12 has a Ryzen Master installed. Come on, Big Daddy. Big Daddy, Big Daddy. Let's type Ryzen. Ah, uh, ah, uh, is that a, an, oh, I got it. Woo, I love it. See, if I was a new install, and I, you know, Windows install, I probably would not install Ryzen Master. I'd be like, where is it? How do I download it? Spend an hour trying to find it. Do I have the right version and download the damn thing? Oh, it's just a pain. Do not delete stuff. It's tough. I know you want to clean up sometimes or reuse hardware now. Do not, don't delete crap you're already set up. It's just, you're wasting all that time and knowledge. All right, come on, Big Daddy. I clicked okay. Look at that. Oh, God, I broke it. Oh, ooh, different one. Look at this. This has a different screen. I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. Um, Basic view. Let's go to basic view. Come on, Big Daddy. Ooh, basic, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my God! So we're 1.3 volts, similar, and it's the same as the other ones. 47, a little higher on the uh, maximum setting, and the uh, CPU clock speed is a little higher on the 3950, and the temp's lower, and we're running default. All right, I'm not gonna mess with it. Not gonna mess with it. Learned my lesson before. I do not want to fry anything. All right, guys. I think that's all I got. I've been rambling on for 13, 14 minutes. 14 minutes. All right. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, let's see. Let's see what uh, let's see what Bitcoin's up to. Dun da 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 da. Miners, miners, crypto. Here we go. Cryptocurrency prices heat map. This is called Coin360.com. Bookmark it. It's a useful cryptocurrency price chart heat map. Blamo. 37.8, baby. Big daddy. And I've been dollar cost averaging when I see it fluctuate. I'm learning to only dollar cost averaging when I see a dip. If it goes red for a day, I'll put 100 bucks in or something like that. And not a lot, because again, I could lose it all. And we all know how that goes. Let's accept the little cookie. Yum, 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 yum. Look at old Ethereum. Now, where's that bastard Litecoin? Where are you, Litecoin? Where is it? Litecoin, where are you? Does anybody see it on here? I'm blind. I don't see Litecoin. There it is, 70. I clicked on it. Oh, 
Ooh, look at that. I hate Litecoin, man. I can't wait for it to go back up. <laughs> if it goes back up and dump that turd. Dump it. All right. I When I say dump it, what I will do is I will buy Bitcoin with it. This is my this is my uh, gambling money. So I'm not going to just take it to fiat. Fiat. I'm going to take it to Bitcoin and uh, see what that little see what that will do. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. There we got some crap. Everything's green. Green is good. Red is better sometimes because when it's red, you can buy back in. All right, guys, go forth. I guess uh, yeah, do great things if you want. If not, don't do great things. Uh, yeah, let me know what's going on. And if you have any suggestions on that Ryzen Master settings for voltage and uh, oh god, see, whatever. What the hell is the other setting? I totally forgot. Ah, the four point six. I totally forgot. Sorry, brain fart. All right, let me know. I'm probably not going to mess with it. I'm happy with the way things are. This is all just for fun, curiosity. The six rigs put out a little heat, but nothing like a rig of GPUs. I feel a little heat coming off these little puppies, but again, uh, CPU mining, its if you're going to do mining, that's where it's at. People, I know people are doing freaking uh, smartphone mining. What the hell is that about? Those things are little fireboxes. I'm not going to mess with that. Plus, they're expensive, right? I don't know. CPUs are fun, and then worst case is blammo. You sell it on eBay, package the motherboard up, uh, put it in a box, just buy a $40 box, make a little gaming PC for it. That's all you need. I got everything else. Yeah, fans are like nine bucks. If you need to add some fans to the case, tower, you're done and ship the thing off, sell it. Maybe sell it on Facebook Marketplace, but then like I said, you gotta wait for some idiot to show up to buy it, but they won't show up and you're like, damn it, you're wasting my Saturday. So things to, things to think about, the logistics, the devil in the details, you know? How much is your time worth? Keep thinking about that because it goes quick. And everything you do for people, do not be afraid to charge accordingly. If you're doing service industry or helping people, I mean, your time is valuable. Sure, it's good to help people now and then, but you need to get paid for your time. That's just the way it is. All right, on that note, I don't have anything else. All right, I'm out. Goodbye. Stop recording. All right, where's the stop button? Oh, my God. Ready? Goodbye, out.